Hi everyone, my name is Monique and today I will be showing you how to sign up and register for our 2023 summer learning program all together now at the Loveland Public Library. To start off, we will be going to the site loveland.readsquared.com. This will take you to the interface that we see here of the landing page for our All Together Now summer learning program. We have three different categories up at the top. You can see kids, teens, and adults. This means that all ages are able to participate in our program. Our kids program is for ages zero to 10, teens are 11 to 17, and our adults are 18 and over. So please do register and participate in our summer learning program. It's a lot of fun. To create an account, we're going to go to the right-hand side over here. We have this prompt saying, need to register, register now. If you created an account in previous years, those don't transfer over, though that information is deleted and we start fresh every year. So you wanna create a new account at the beginning of our summer. So we're gonna click register now. Here you will see that you have two different options. You have myself only as a reader, or myself and other readers. So we recommend myself plus other readers for group or family accounts. We're gonna start off with doing a myself and other readers account. Here, it will take you to the register page, which is where we want to input our primary account information. So this is the primary account holder, which requires an adult to sign up for this. So when we say, how old are you? it will only let you select 18 plus. So this is really good for a guardian, a parent, a caretaker, and it'll ask you as well if you wanna enroll in the summer, the adult summer learning program. So we're gonna click yes here. We will select continue at the bottom, and this is still for that primary ac account holder. So we are registering this person because they said yes to wanting to enroll in the summer program. It's going to ask for a little bit more information. The way that we are structuring our reading goals this summer is between June and July, how many days would you like to read? Now, this can be a number between 20 and 60. This is editable, so you can change the number here. And this applies to the kids and adult program. So it defaults to 40 because that's what we recommend. However, if you want to read every day, that can be up to 60. So you type in your name here. So I'm going to type in library test and I'm going to put library test adult or adult here. Library test at gmail.com. We're asking for an email here and then a password for your account. So I'll just do a quick password here and great. It was accepted. It can be whatever you need. Um, I think it's four characters or more. You'll select an avatar here, select this little raccoon, and we'll click continue. Now it's asking you if you'd like to add an additional reader. So this can be a child or a teen in your household or maybe another adult. So I'm going to say that this reader is zero to 10. So they will automatically enroll them into the kids program. Our goal for our young reader will be 50 days. It automatically defaults to the same last name as the primary account holder and also the same email address, but this is also editable if you want. I'm gonna put mini test as the first name here. We'll select an avatar. Let's do the foxes. You can add another reader or if you're finished, you can click done and exit. Let's add another reader. We'll add a teen, 11 to 17. Again, automatically we'll enroll you into the teen program, since that's the age range we selected, we're going to put teen test as the first name. It will ask you if you wanna create a separate username and password for your teen. It's not required, but if they would like to log in with separate cr credentials, they are welcome to. We'll keep it at bare here and we're done. Now we have registered for the program. This is the landing page of where you will see all of your reading logs, all of your missions that are applicable, your events over here on the right-hand side. This is where it'll show you how many days you've logged so far and your goal. 
So the way that the adult and the children's program works is every for your overall goal, every time you reach 25% of that goal, 50%, 75% or 100% of the goal, uh, for kids, you get a prize at every level there. So this keeps track for you. So say right now, over here on the left-hand side, I can toggle between the different accounts. So I have my kid account over here. I can also go over to the teen account over here. So these are the different ways that you can log points and keep, do the missions for every individual person on your account. What we can also do is go to the primary account holder and you see that I'm on the adult account. I'm gonna click log here and it'll ask, I want to log books or days for kids and adults or books for the teen program. So I'm going to log days for kids and adults. So I've read say three days. It shows red because we wanna uh, select which reader accomplished the three days. So I'm gonna click the adult and I also read to my child and so that counts for the three days as well. It, you'll notice that it won't let you select the teen account because they're not logging by days, they log by books, which is what we saw on the previous screen. We'll click submit here, great. And you'll notice that my test adult account went up to 7% of 100 days because we set 40 days as our goal 7% has been accomplished with three days that have been read so far. So let me show you real quick how you can log missions. If we scroll down, you'll see the different missions. This is adult specific missions. We can toggle over to our children account and you'll see that we have four different mission categories here with different missions in each category. So say we go to share missions, great. We earn a prize drawing ticket for each activity we complete, and this is where you will select whether you have completed something or not. So we made dinner for our, or a snack for our friends and family. We're gonna complete that mission now, complete the activity, and great. We earned a badge here saying that you have successfully completed a share activity, and we can go into the library to pick up our prize. If you ever need to change anything in your account settings, you can go over to account, and click my account. Over here, we can add a username if you want for your child, if you need to switch what age range they are or the email address, anything like that, you can do so here. Now, over on the left-hand side, we have event calendar. So this will show you what events are coming up for different ages. We wanna filter here, kids and family, this will show you all of the kids and family events and same for teens and adults. We can go back home. Our mini games are not played for points, but they are available for you if you just want to play them and have fun. And the last item on the left-hand side will show you badges. Since right now I am in the child account, it shows me my badges that I have yet to complete Anything with a little trophy on the right-hand side means that there's a prize that you can earn with it. And if you wanted to see what that prize was, see it's grayed out right here is because we haven't gotten to that level. We haven't earned that badge yet, but if I click on it, it will tell me what the prize is. So that's another fun way that you can see what is left in your missions and your badges. Now I'm going to just click log out. Thank you all so much for coming and watching this video. I hope to see you all this summer and we are super excited to have our summer kick off on June 2nd and our summer officially, our program officially starting June 1st to July 31st. We'll see you at the library.